Welcome back to my channel, guys. Today, I have a very interesting topic to talk about. I have been doing a lot of research lately on sodium and how it works in the body. I wanted to understand sodium better because many of my clients have high blood pressure. And to say the least, I was shocked by what I learned. Before we get started on today's topic, I wanted to invite you to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit the bell to get notified when I post a new video. Now, let's talk about salt. Sodium is essential for the body but not all salts are considered equal. Salt sustains human life and optimal bodily function. All salts contain the same amount of sodium, but some are considered healthier because of their mineral and electrolyte concentration. Both sodium and chlorine are important elements that maintain cellular balance, circulation, and blood sugar levels. Sodium is both a mineral and an electrolyte. Common electrolytes include potassium, calcium, and bicarbonate. Without adequate sodium, your brain would not be able to send necessary electrical impulses to the rest of your body to function properly. Just as the body requires the right amount of sodium, consuming too much can be unhealthy. Higher salt intake in people who are salt sensitive can increase blood pressure. Elevated sodium levels can also cause water retention, also known as inflammation. This is considered a protective response as the body works to regulate levels of serum sodium concentration in the blood and maintain balance. All this is to say that the quality of your salt matters. Basically, there are two types of salt, table salt, i.e. processed salt, and unrefined salt, which has not been processed or stripped of its nutrients. Whether you have high blood pressure or not, no one needs to be consuming regular table salt. Here's why. Regular table salt has been stripped of most of its naturally occurring minerals that are essential to your body. And studies have shown that there are microplastics in more than 90% of the packaged food grade salt for sale in stores. Therefore, if you are going to salt your food, you need a salt full of the healthy minerals and electrolytes that help your body function optimally and a salt that doesn't contain harmful microplastics. Ingesting microplastics can cause toxicity, oxidative stress, and inflammation. Salt is yet another example of a food that should be healthy for us, but has been processed and stripped of its nutrients and made unhealthy. Now that we are, have talked about the unhealthy salt, let's talk about the salts that can be good for your health. So number one, pure kosher salt. This salt has a coarse flaky texture. Compared to refined table salt, pure kosher salt does not typically contain additives like anti-caking agents and iodine. Kosher salt is typically used to season meat. Per tablespoon, kosher salt has less sodium than one teaspoon of table salt. Number two, sea salt. Sea salt is, a, is produced by evaporating seawater and can be purchased either as fine grains or in large crystals. Examples include black sea salt, Celtic, French, and Hawaiian sea salt. Sea salt has trace amounts of minerals like iron, potassium, and zinc, so they are slightly better than processed table salt. Number three is Himalayan pink salt. This salt is mined in Pakistan and Peru. It is known as a finishing salt because it is generally used at the end of cooking to add a flavor. 
Trace amounts of iron oxide give this salt its pink color. Pink Himalayan salt contains a healthy amount of calcium, potassium, and magnesium, and iron. My favorite kind of salt that I use and recommend to my clients is Redmond Real Salt. Redmond Real Salt is unrefined sea salt mined in Utah, where it's safe from modern pollutants. It's pure, unprocessed, and full of trace minerals that give it one-of-a-kind nutritional benefits. If you are interested in trying Redmond Real Salt, I will have a link to their website in the description of this video. I told you today's topic would be interesting. So if you found it interesting, give this video a like and share it with someone else you think would find it helpful. Thank you for watching and I will see you next week.